Well, the 2009 series has come to a close. We've went from the Summit Series all the way to the grand finale, Pink's All Out. It's been a trying season. Uh, we started out pretty smooth and then eventually wind up breaking a lot of parts. Seemed like I offered a lot of things to the gods of speed to continue. Pink's All Out was really fun. I had a good time. Uh, they didn't pick my class. Uh, I gave it everything I had and at the end uh, the battery went dead so I didn't get the chance to finish the last qualifying pass. One of the good parts about Pink's All Out is I got to meet a uh, fellow YouTuber, uh, Blue Oval Boys, uh, Steven, and his uh, friend uh, Les. Um, that was pretty cool to, to sit down and talk cars with them, uh, even though, you know, in the intense heat and everything, it was it was neat. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you that uh, provided me support during the year. Uh, that meant a lot to me. Um, you know, your your comments and um, uh, good wishes. Uh, it really helped me out a lot, and, and that was that was nice. I, I really appreciate that. So, um, you guys, awesome. Okay, it's time for some video action. Uh, the first run, the car got a little bit crooked. Um, I managed to hang on for a 130 mile an hour pass. Uh, the Pink's camera seemed to capture that. I'm kind of hoping that might make it on TV. Uh, the second pass was just uh, um, I learned a little bit about uh, the situation as far as the car and the track and uh, changed my driving technique and um, made a pretty good pass and then back on uh, Saturday I uh, stayed with that same technique and, and it kind of held out good for me so uh, I learned a little bit about the car this weekend uh, I learned a little bit about the new converter and, and the setup so that's going to give me some momentum for next year uh, we'll have a kind of a jump uh, the car is still in good condition uh, didn't break anything at pink so we're kind of ready for next year actually well, I guess it's enough of the blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's go watch some darn videos. See you later. Yeah, you put the time in. You came here. We did the work. You just kept drag racing alive, my friends. That's what you're doing. That's all you're doing. You're taking a sport that was consistently going down. The attendance was going down. The participation was going down. Tracks were closing throughout the country. And then this little thing came along. And because of you, because of those amazing spectators, in the morning. We have people in the stands already. Alright? That's, that's great, guys. That's crazy because we don't, you know, we might, we might not get out here until 11 o'clock tonight. So you're keeping the sport alive, so we thank you for that. Now let's get into the details. This show, we ask you to do one thing. There's only one rule. Run all out. Right. It's that simple. Seriously, if you try to overcomplicate that, then you're smarter than me. Because I still don't know what breakout means. I don't know what... I can't tell you. I, I, I know nothing. I know two cars line up versus the finish line moves on the loser goes home. And if you're sandbagging, which Brian Bazone is like a bloodhound up in the tower up there, he can smell sandbagging from 500 miles away. You know, he will catch you. You know, Willie, Clay, Kale, Kenneth, anybody can disqualify anybody for, for doing the one thing we ask you not to do. It's not hard for, for Willie B or, 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 or Clay or Ken to walk by and see what's in your car and, and look at your time and it doesn't match up. These guys are experts in what they do. The only moron here is me. All right? I don't know anything. I just flap my arms. Right? So we're going to keep that going. So just know you're going to have to go all out. We take that dead seriously because we had a show one week. I'm going to be down the finish line on and off today. We, we always have somebody stationed down there. Guys, I went to a show. And before I went down to the finish line, and I said, listen, if your nose drops 10 feet before the finish line, you're going home. I caught 70 racers sandbagging. The following show, the word got out, one. They ran through that finish line, and that's what I expect out of Bakersfield, because you know what? We haven't really been this close, close to Southern California, kind of the roots and where the whole thing started. You know the names that have raced here. You know the tradition that comes out of Bakersfield. Also, you know what's all about here. This is your turn. You guys have been waiting. You've been emailing us. You've been blowing us up. We're here. So now you do your part, and you show the world how quickly you can get down that track, because today we're asking for your very best passes as a racer, and as what your car can do, you need to bring it all together. If you put antifreeze down on the track, cool it down on the track, one drop, you're banned from any of my shows for life. Pass time, drag race side. Uh, and far lane, less for us. Yay! Uh, <laughs> but, yeah.